sometimes in person or like meet and greet, the fan will come out and like, Dan, can you say this to me? And it's actually like some pretty questionable scoldings. Oh. Hey guys, this is Glenn Yong and today I'll be reading a series of assumptions about me. Excited to see what are people's assumptions about me? <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> With an oppa face that Glenn Yong has, he must have had it easy in the industry. <sighs> to be honest, um, not really. I didn't really have a lot of jobs. Uh, not much shows. I went for a lot of auditions and I failed. For the first two to three years, I have roles where I don't even have a name. It's like maybe person A or like person B. But because I love acting, I just stuck through it and eventually I found my breakthrough only probably like the last year. You wanna see bad boy look? Okay, cute Opa look. Ah, guys, this is so embarrassing. Why do we do this? It is impossible that a guy like Glenn has never celebrated Valentine's Day before. I wish it's impossible, but it's actually true. Okay, I'm gonna spill the beans. I have been in a relationship before. We didn't celebrate Valentine's Day because... Um, okay, we weren't around in the same place. So that's why I've never celebrated a Valentine's Day in 25 years of my life. Very sad. I don't know. I'm still looking forward though. Hopefully one day. Right now in my life, I'm so focused on my career uh, and my family. I wouldn't have a lot of time to be able to spend in a relationship right now at this moment. So. If there's really a girl that will appear in my life right now, probably it has to be someone that is mature and independent so that when we come together, it is really just complimenting one another and making each other a better person. He hesitated in accepting the job in Agar School Army because of the backlash the movie franchise had. First of all, are you crazy? Whoever that had this assumption. A Boys to Men, the franchise is Singapore's most successful movie franchise. When Agus Go Ami came out, of course, it was a no-brainer that like every actor in Singapore would want to be a part of this. A funny story is actually, instead of hesitating to accept this, I wasn't sure if they needed a guy because it is an Agus Go Ami movie. When I auditioned, I auditioned for a 3 days role. So it was like a cameo, small role kind of thing. The next day he called me and he was like, Hey Glenn, I'm gonna use you as the male lead. And since then, my life has changed. Yeah. Oh, the next question is kind of linked. Surrounded by ladies in Aga, he learned a lot more about women during his filming days. True. The funny thing is, I realized I kind of have the affinity to film with a bunch of girls because before Aga's Go Ami, I filmed Leave Your Dreams. Well, I was filming with eight girls because they are kind of like forming a female uh, girl group. And then for Aga's Go Ami, it is 15 females with a female officer and one sergeant, which is me. I realized that women are very different from men. They are a lot more caring, a lot more expressive, but they are also a lot more sensitive. I realized like how, you know, sometimes guys, we can be really blunt with our words. But when you are working with um, a bunch of girls, you need to watch what you say because women remember everything. Yeah. Glenn Young is secretly happy about his weird requests and thirsty DMs from his fans. <laughs> wow. Um, first of all, what kind of weird requests and thirsty DMs are you talking about? Hmm? You seem like you know. <laughs> to be honest, sometimes I'm quite speechless. Some are pretty cute actually, but some are just plain weird and like disgusting. They will ask me to scold them, right? Actually, young kids. I don't know why. And like girls, they will put their name and they will even write out the script for me to say, to scold. Or like record a video to scold them. And this is not just DMs, you know, like sometimes in person or like meet and greet, the fan will come out and like, Dang, can you say this to me? And then I thought they want me to say something sweet, right? Like, I love you or like, you're the best. It's actually like some pretty questionable scoldings on them. Oh. Whether is it a positive or negative reaction, uh, it is something and I appreciate that. So in that sense, I'm happy. But no, I'm not going to respond to all your thirsty DMs. <laughs> 
Okay, they will send me a lot of pickup lines. I can't remember offhand, but I mean, I can check my phone, but it's just very cute. La. Maybe I can see some. Yeah. Okay, got the more M80 one and the normal one. Which one you guys want first? M80. I need to be productive. I'm putting you on my to do list. Is your mom's name practice? Because practice makes perfect. I used to chase butterflies as a kid. I never thought you'd give them for free. Yeah, so there's a lot of these kind of things, you know. When I see it, I'll, I'll laugh, I'll really I'll laugh. I mean, it's pretty cute, la. but I don't think I'll respond because I'm too shy for that. Now that he is so famous, is Glenn Young afraid of cancer culture? Okay, first of all, I don't think I'm super famous. Regarding about cancer culture, of course, I'm worried that like, oh, you know, like how nowadays people can just disappear overnight, right? As long as your values are right, you don't harm anybody, you don't do anything that is wrong to anyone, I feel that there's nothing much to be worried about. So to me, I think my principle in life is always, you never know who you're going to meet, so treat everyone with the same respect, with the same dignity, because we're all human beings and we deserve to be treated the same way. <laughs> the way they look at each other, Glenn and CC are in a relationship. Hashtag Glenn C. Every day of my life. I mean, of course, because we film like outcast, right? Quite car together. The persona that we play on screen, we are like a couple. Of course, we are we are good friends behind the scenes. She always looks out for my back, so I appreciate her for that. It's not easy to find someone in the industry that really looks out for you and wants the best for you. So I appreciate this friendship, but whether we are together or not, for you to find out. Glenn Young knows he's fine. Giving those wings, app pics, and random hugs to people and on his TikTok. Well, all I can say is shout out to my mom and dad. Oh, I think that's about it. That was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. I was expecting like more questionable stuff, but you guys are very kind to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, so these days, I am actually writing songs and releasing music because uh, that is really my focus right now. I just want to do music and hopefully let the music touch lives. Also, I'm doing a lot of school tours. I've been to uh, your secondary school, primary school. So I'm going to continue that for the next one year. And hopefully in 2023, I will be able to hold my own concert as well. So please look out for that. So thank you for watching this episode of Assumptions About Me. If you like more of these kind of videos, do like, share and subscribe. And also comment down below your best search trap pickup lines. And we'll see who does it the best. Bye!